Well, hey, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Everybody. Hey, Facebook family, y'all come on in today. Tell a friend, share it on your timeline. Come on in. We got a hot, hot topic today. We got a what? Hot, hot Clear topic today. <coughs> yes, hot, a hot, hot topic. topic for you today. <laughs> yeah. Yes, why don't relationships work? But we want you to know that you're listening to a gold chip communication station. Yeah. You can listen live by going to www.1580thepraise.com and click on listen live. And join in on this wonderful discussion by going to our new TTL page. Yes, do All that. All right. Good morning, Miss Mary. Good Ms. morning, Miss Mary. Miss Mary. You. Yes, yes. And who else is that in there, Bishop? That looks like Miss Mary again. She on there twice. Well, all right. Good morning <laughs> to you. We are super excited. It's been a minute it's since a we have been on, but we are working. We are busy doing some things. So yeah. TTL may not be on every week, yes. but we will definitely let you know when we are on. Sounds good to me. Bishop Bozeman, how uh, are you doing listen, today? I'm super, uh, what do you say? Super fantastic. <laughs> I'm all that. I'm excited and happy to be here today. It's been a while, but we're back on today, and we're grateful to God. Yes. Right? Let me pause for a moment and say you look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yes, you do. Thank you, you really do. You Marvin. Now. Like I ain't seen you all day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, well, thank you, my dear. Well, thank you, ma'am. It's my pleasure to please you. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, y'all, come on in today. Come on in, come on yes. in. While we're waiting on other people to come in, I want to give a shout out to my team. All right. All right. I love, love, love my team. They are so special and they take good care of yeah. me. I want to honor them. Miss Marvon Forte, mm. she is the GOAT. The GOAT. She is the G O. A to the T. To she the is T. the GOAT. Put when you two all, T's on When there. you all see my ads on Talk Therapy Live, you yeah. know who that is? That is Marvon. That yeah. is Marvon doing all of that. Forte's and, working it out. Yeah, she's yeah. working it. And she looks out for me, too. So thank you to some Marvon Forte and also to Brittany Bozeman. When you all yeah. go to my Healthy Emotes page, and the remarks and comments and postings on there. Yeah. That is uh, Sister Brittany Bozeman. So BB. I, I am grateful for yeah. my team. You're only as good as the people that you have That's around true. you, That's right? That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. So as you know, I am Kimberly, the owner of Healthy Emotes Counseling Services. Yes. If you need services, and all of us need someone to talk to uh, from time to time, feel free to uh, contact my office. At 614-669-5115. Yeah. Again, 614-669-5115 to set up a counseling service. All right. So we want to get into the meat of this message. Yeah, let it, me first see how you've how you been doing here lately. I've been busy. You've been real busy, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah I, I've been really, really busy. Uh, mental health is so very important, mm -hmm. and and you know what, when the pandemic happened, I got really really busy because people okay. were anxious. They didn't know what was going on, but you know right. there's something going on after the pandemic. It's yeah. like a pandemic brain. I don't know if we've been in enclosed for too long. Yeah. I don't know if we've been cut off from uh, connections. Uh, from because connections are so important. That's true. Having a community and, and touching mm -hmm. and talking is so therapeutic. When you don't have that, it really does something. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, I've been very busy yeah. working on um, a special project. Okay. You know, All I right. mean. All right. So musically, you singing or what? What's going hey, on? Hey, you Watch want me to sing something for you? Not right now. It's oh, a special project. <laughs> And we'll let y'all know when that's going to be released, okay? <laughs> yeah, seriously, yeah, seriously, so keep me in yeah, prayer. Yeah. But a hot topic prayer. today, right? Yes, it is Good a hot topic. topic. Yes. Uh, it is why relationships don't work. Mm -hmm. And we understand that relationships are so very important. Yeah. And I'm not necessarily just talking about inti intimate partner mm -hmm. relationships, but relationships period across the board okay. business relationships all of that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, sibling yeah. relationships uh mother the child mm -hmm. parent to child relationships 
you know. So when and I want you all's um, opinion as well. Yeah. Why do you think relationships don't work? Bishop got his glasses on, so I really need you to kind of. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. But good morning to you too, family. That's yes. BB on there. BBB. Yes. Good Brittany morning. Bloom. Bozeman. Good morning to you. Yeah. So again, relationships are very important, mm -hmm. and a lot of us strive to be in relationships. There are some people who cannot be alone. They yeah. cannot be alone, but, but then some, somehow you sabotage the, the relationship that you get in. Mm. So what do you think is one of the reasons, Bishop, why relationships don't work? You say it just one reason why? Oh, we're going to go through a plethora, but Man. what's your first, first one? The first one really that comes to mind um, is oneness. Mm -hmm. It's oneness. So we can say oneness across the board. If we're talking about... Um, you know, in relationships between a um, you know man and a woman relationship, and you're interested in the other person and interested in trying to make the thing work. Um, everybody has to come into agreement about the oneness of the relationship, mm. even if you're not married. Okay. You know, what okay. I mean, yeah. even if you're not married and you're not entertaining the thought of marriage, but if you if we're going to be exclusive and we're going to you know try to date a little bit, we have to first set. Um, the criteria of this relationship. Okay. You okay. Know? So what I hear you saying is that to, to we have to set our expectations out front. Up front. Yeah. If we're going to casually date, that needs to be put out there. That mm -hmm. is just a casual relationship. You know, but if we're going to try to be serious, that needs to be put out there as well. This is what I'm looking forward to, but it has to be an agreement. All things to me always comes back to oneness. Mm -hmm. Oneness and all the things you name. So, uh, business relationship, um, you know, um, relationship between men and women, uh, it comes back to one. Uh -huh. So, biblically, if we go back to um, Genesis, we see that God makes man, makes woman, and the two shall become one, one flesh, mm -hmm. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, one. Um, Jesus says, I am my Father. Are one. Are one. All of these different types of, um, you know, relationships are all really trying to put together one thing. Mm -hmm. Especially in the um, the business world as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you come to work for me, you're coming to work under this umbrella of this company uh, in this one head of the company. But there are many different components. Mm -hmm. So in this one relationship. You have your gifts and talents. I have mine. Okay. But we, we bring it together is for the benefit of that one thing. Of the one thing. For the success of the relationship, for the success of the business relationship, uh, working relationship, whatever the case may be, it's all about oneness. It's me. all about oneness. Yeah. yeah. Now, one way to get to oneness mm -hmm. is effective communication. You must communicate. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. We we are always communicating. Even when you're not saying anything, yeah. you are still communicating yeah. a message. Yeah. We understand that um, your body language speaks louder than your verbal language. So we're mm -hmm. always communicating a message. Yeah. So in order for me to um, set my expectations out front, I cannot expect for you to read my mind. Right. Don't work. Right. I mean, it, I'm not that good. Right, exactly. You're good, but you you're know. not that good. But God uses me sometimes to be able to, you know, be, but, you know, I ain't that good. Right, seriously. You know. We have to learn how to communicate. Have to. Do not be afraid to speak your mind to yeah. get your needs met. Yeah. Because it's unfair for you to, for you to think someone mm. should understand you. Right. And then when they don't respond the way that you want them to or need them yeah. to, then you're upset with them. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's, yeah. it's unfair because you, have you voiced yeah. your opinion? Yeah. Have you voiced your thoughts and your mm -hmm. expectations? Right. So it has to be put out there. It has to be understood um, so that what we are, you know, trying to put together actually works. That's right. It's, it's successful. Let me say this, too. Especially in, in relationships like a marriage or boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever the case may be. The second reason, you know, I believe that some relationships do not work 
is because there's never, we said one already, but there's just not a, it's not a good working relationship. Okay. We're not working together at all. Now, we may have the legal document of saying that we are husband and wife, but we ain't together at all. Mm. So that's going so to create... So do you think that's because you're not a good fit for each other? Several different reasons. You know, it could be that you're not a good fit or you don't understand that relationships are about oneness, togetherness. Okay. You know, you're still, you're okay. married, but you're in your world yes. and you're in your world. Yes. So that's not going to work. That That's right. There, is not, there is not a coming together. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, so in other words, it, you know, people come together for different reasons. That's true. You know, yes, so sometimes true. it's not always about love. Mm -hmm. It's not always about unity. Yeah. Sometimes it's about social status. Social what status. What it looks like on the outside. Yeah. What I can get out of you, um, you know, I mean, that's just how it is. Right, You know yeah. what I mean? So, but like I said before, you tell me that up front. Mm -hmm. That this right. is what I want. This is what I want. Well, you know, you. So, sometimes people are not going to be that open and honest and say, I'm with you because... I'm 35 years old yeah. and my biological time clock is ticking. Yeah. I cannot yeah. see ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see telling somebody that? You I, know? I, you'll be surprised. <laughs> I've heard that said before. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I've heard yeah. it said before. So, um, hey, ain't nothing new under the sun. Nothing new you is un under the sun. Yeah. You know, so the. Terrible thing to say. It is. It, I mean, <laughs> but truthfully, you have all kind of want. relationships out here. Some people will go for that. That's Some true. people will go for all of mm -hmm. that. You mm -hmm. know, um, it's a good business relationship, a yeah. financial re relationship. That's you That's know, true. we're good with our money together. Right, so right. our relationship is more like a business. Mm -hmm. More of a business. But, but, what ha but what happens when you find somebody or you run into somebody who um excites you mm. you're you're in a business relationship with the partner that you have yeah. but but you still have needs yeah you still got wants and desire if you find run into somebody that's going to awaken you then yeah. what, are you, what are you going to do with that yeah yeah it depends on who you are and your belief in the lord jesus christ <laughs> you might just slip off <laughs> You might just run off and, and holler at you. I got what I needed now, you know, but right. people do the craziest things in relationships. That's right. But we, but again, write this down. I must learn how to speak effectively. Mm. Not just speak your mind, because the yeah. Bible even talks about to speak your truth, but then the latter part of that uh, scripture says in love. Mm. You know, so yeah. what what I want to say to you it's not going to tear you down. I'm not going to be condescending. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to, my, my goal is to give you a message. Yeah, but in, even in that, you have to have tough skin because what may be said doesn't have the intent yes. of harming, yeah. but it might hurt like the devil. But, but again, you know that goes back to knowing who you have. Yeah. Knowing their character, and if you don't know, their you heart, find out. their personality. You'll find out if you don't know. Right. I mean, because you may have someone that's kind of rough around the edges. Yeah. So yeah. the way that it presents itself to you, mm -hmm. you may be a sensitive person. Yeah. So you may be offended when the person didn't mean any ill intentions at all. Right. So, so we have to learn who we have in a relationship, and yeah. that takes time. It does. It takes time. Yeah. Yeah. If you want that relationship to work, and if you're if if it's geared towards oneness, you know what I mean. Yes. It's going to take time to make that happen, but you have to be committed to it. That's right. What do you always right. say? It's doable. It's doable. It's doable. Relationships are hard. Yeah. But doable. Can you read those comments? Um. Uh, really not saying anything right now. Just said that Mary Stevenson is watching. <laughs> God bless you again. Yes. We have three Mary Stevensons that's been on here already today. <laughs> well, thank Thumbs God. up to thank you. Thank God for you, sis. Mary, 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 right? Yes. Right, the Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. I got you. It's just two. Yes. <laughs> so, again, we're talking about why relationships do not work. Mm -hmm. Okay. You must have effective communication. Not yeah. just communicate. You know, not just somewhere rolling your eyes and, you know, rolling your neck around yeah. and, and yeah. all of that. And you have not said anything out of your mouth. But what yeah. comes out of your mouth should be the purpose of 
relaying a message and not be condescending. Right. What we must do is always focus on the problem and not the person. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? It does. It does. Be yeah. Because a lot of times we go into the attack mode mm -hmm. and we start tearing the other person down. And then we start calling them out of their name and yeah. stuff. But you've lost sight of the problem. Mm -hmm. So you always want to make sure that you focus on the problem and not attack the person. Mm -hmm. Okay? And well another, another reason well <laughs> that relationships don't work mm -hmm. is blaming and criticizing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if, if we're going to be in one, in, in one relationship, so right now it seems to lift if we're kind of geared toward... Um, a relationship between men and women, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. So we talked about a little bit, it touched a little bit on the other stuff, but it seemed like the conversation has gone back to that, you know, relationship between men and women. Uh -huh. But it has to be that, um, you know, the understanding of what it is we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, what are we trying to do? Are we just hanging out, hang out buddies? Right. Uh, I mean, where where is this relationship going? Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. so it must be understood. You know? Yeah. A again, letting your expectations be made yeah. made known. Yes. Not expecting your partner to be a mind reader. Right. Or or your best friend to be yeah. a mind reader. Yeah. We all have different needs, which goes back to the five love languages because mm -hmm. we're all different. Yeah. You know. So the thing is, voicing your opinion. Like yeah. you can be in a friend girl relationship, mm -hmm. and you feel like you're the you're the only mm -hmm. one giving. Yeah. Well, that's probably your love language. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's the other one's love language. Yes, yeah, yeah. Don't even look for nothing in return because you know it's not them. Uh, right. And so give from, you. from your yes. heart. Give from your heart. Yes, keep being you. But, but again, voicing your thoughts, voicing your opinions, yeah. telling your truth in love. Yeah. You know, but, you know, sibling relationships is, is all the same. Mm -hmm. You know, so we talk, um, said one of the, another reason is blaming and, and being too critical. Yeah. Who wants to be around anybody like that? Right. Always blaming, right. can never take responsibility. Yeah, but there's no benefit to the relationship if we're blaming the other one. Exactly. There's no benefit to the relationship, so uh, blaming gets us nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I but mean? But it hurts, but, though. Oh, yeah. It, it hurts. Yeah. The one that you're blaming mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, I'm talking about effective um, uh, communication. Instead yes. of blaming, you can say something like, my feelings yeah. are hurt when you whatever. Mm -hmm. Instead of yeah. saying, every time I come home, you da 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 da, and yeah. you don't pick up this and you don't pick up that, right. and all of those accusations mm -hmm. and being too critical, no one wants to be around you. Yeah, yeah. But as you stated, setting your expectation is so important. Okay, we, we like to say that up front, setting the expectation of the relationship up front, that's good. But even as situations in your relationship changes, sometimes the expectations will change too. That's right. So now, hey, the expectation that we have of each other has changed. So you need to communicate that. You, you must. So you're not frustrated when you do come home. Uh, and a person's been there all day and you've been working all day or the one's been, you know, whatever yes, the case may be. Yes. But it has to be understood, hey, when I come home, uh, I need this, that, and the other. That could be man, or, the man or the woman, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. who, whoever, whatever. But it has to be understood that when I come home, I will love a clean house. That's right. I will love a warm meal. That's you right. Know? Yes. But it's your expectation. If you don't expect it, then don't, don't holler about it if you don't. Not expect it, but if you don't communicate, if you don't communicate it, but one of the, one of the um, obstacles to communication is that sometimes people feel like um, they don't know how the other one is going to receive it. True, they're yeah, afraid. But you don't. They're, they're afraid of their response. Because yeah, you don't. They're yeah. afraid of the response, so it inhibits a person from really speaking their voice. But you have a right to speak to stand up for yourself. Yeah. You have a right to stand up for yourself yeah. and to voice your opinion. And allow it to be when you do it calm and easy. Effective communication. Yeah. Allow it to be calm and easy so that, um, you know, you know, they won't get too excited. 
Now, they may get a little excited, mm -hmm. but your approach is going to be everything. So, so, so the whole goal, the, the whole thing is, is this, that you don't want to worry too much about their response. I believe mm -hmm. that adults should adopt. Yeah. Let them mm -hmm. adult, let them mm -hmm. deal and handle whatever they got mm -hmm. to handle on. You cannot yeah. be responsible for their reaction no. to you. It's how you say it, but in a firm manner. Same way it from a boss employee relationship. If the goal is the, the one, you know, oneness of the company, now if I have to come in, you know, and then discipline you. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy and all that, but it can be with sternness, and I'm, I'm getting my point across. Now, you're not right. going to like it. Right, you're not. You know, because uh, who likes it? Who likes it? Right. Being called in. Yeah, you no know. one. Yeah, no so, one. you know, either you're a good fit for the company or the relationship, or you're not. Right. But mm -hmm. it has to be communicated in an effective, effective, stern way. Um, so that the goal is met. That's right. That's yeah. right. And and relationships is like a business arrangement. It, it really is. It, it's a business now arrangement. That's a whole nother, That's another sermon right there. <laughs> but I heard a preacher say one time, nowhere in the scripture can you find that Adam loved Eve. <laughs> well, <laughs> think about that. Mm. <laughs> it was they, a, they she were, was a help me. Yes, yeah, she was a help me. You know, but so so that that's more that's more focus on the role ah. of, of the relationship. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But a help me is someone who helps meet the need. Exactly. So a male Bam. or a female a can be a help me. Exactly. You know? Well, that's what we are to each other. That's right. You know what I mean? We we are helping meet the need of each other. So God has created a wonderful thing, and if we go to scripture, scripture says, "He that findeth the wife findeth." A good thing mm -hmm. you know what I mean so my need is met yes you understand so I I want for other men to have the same um, energy um, that that I have in loving you mm -hmm. you know what I mean so I want for other men to experience that but knowing that in order to experience this you must communicate Yes, she has Effectively. To talk. Yes. Now, even though there's great love that's shared between the two of us, there are times when we have to come and express ourselves. And, yes. And um, and half the time I don't like it, but I know it's going to be helpful. <laughs> and I know sometimes I say things you don't like, mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't see it right away. Right. Exactly. We don't. Yeah. But the love makes us one. So we, hey, this is going to benefit the both of us. Right. And you know, this not year. not saying it right away is wisdom. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, because yeah. you want to make sure I mean, that not saying it, but not seeing it right away. Yeah, is not what I'm seeing saying. It, you may okay. not see it right yeah. away. Mm -hmm. And you might say it right, right. away. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then it'll hit you later. Like, was there some truth in Because you have said? to have time and I'm to always preached this to process it. Um, do a self evaluation to see if what was said What's true? Yeah, yeah. Because you always care to a certain degree what how other people perceive you. That's right. And so it's important that you do that. That's it makes right. me look in like, man, I ain't going to respond right now, but let me go and look in the mirror. Because if you are with someone, you're in a relationship, then hopefully you're in a relationship with someone that you know loves you and cares for you. So whatever yeah. they yeah. say is not to tear you down. Although right. what they have to say will hurt you because no one likes um no one no one likes that you know what i yeah. mean they, they yeah. don't like for people to point out mm -hmm. their weaknesses their shortcoming no one likes that but mm -hmm. yet it is conducive yeah. for a healthy relationship it's needed for the health for the relationship to be what it is that you guys see together right you know and this is so important because i, I run into this uh, in, in counseling, especially with marital counseling, mm -hmm. relationship counseling, to hold each other accountable. Yeah. Do not, you know, relationships yeah. don't That's work good. because That's you're good. living as an individual. You're all doing your own thing yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But you see something in them that is not beneficial for them, but then you're... You know, you say, well, that's their life. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're, you know, that's their decision and everybody, you know, has a right to make their... But if you see something that you feel like can help them, mm -hmm. it's like if you see someone... That's true. Uh, you, you know, I say going down a, a one-way street, mm -hmm. they're going the wrong way. Yeah, all the traffic coming towards you. Are you just going to watch them <laughs> go? Or are you going to be like, yeah. hey, hey, yeah. you know, turn off. Yeah. That's how we have to be. 
relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know we're all adults and we make fit. Two yeah. heads are better than one. Yeah, because what you're doing, whatever each one of the other ones do, always has an impact on the us. That's right. On the one that's on, on, on the us and the them, because your decision yeah. affects who you're with and your children. No, not. It affects everybody. And, 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 and the community that you're yeah. around. Yeah. So we yeah. have to be careful. But the one that you love has to be the one and say, come here, baby. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what you're doing or what yeah. you said today, that yeah. you may want to give more thought to that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just to keep each other. You're talking about mm -hmm. checks and balances. Yeah, yeah. And and like I stated, you may not see it right off. Yeah. You know, that again, to a boss-employee relationship, you know, you may not see it, but you either want to stay connected to the company uh -huh. or you don't. Yeah. Same way with the relationship. With what I may say to you, you may not see it right off, but either you want to be in, in this relationship or you don't. Right, right. So yeah. you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to change some things, tweak some things, uh, give thought to what it is that was said about me right. so that this yeah. can work well. Right. I yeah. mean, it's just like, you know, how, how we said people don't like to be told anything mm -hmm. or whatever. But we have to have checks and balances in your yeah. relationship because we yeah. want what's best. Oh, you're going to be told. I but don't care. Right. It's, Until you leave. <laughs> you're going to be told. Not asked. It, it's like, listen, ladies, I can have an outfit on thinking I'm looking cute. Mm. This one right here be like, my lord. You ain't wearing that out, are you? <laughs> Just bust my bubble. Just bust it. And, and, and at first, I'm like taking offense. Like, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> and he just walk off, yeah. shake his head or whatever. Yeah. He's out in the car. And here I come with a different outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, he get on oh, my yo, nerves. You ain't want to wear that, huh? <laughs> he get on my nerves. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but I, I know that he wants what's best for yeah. me. Yeah. I, I, yeah. And I know that. And I know there's no ill intent right. at all. Right. You know, so, you know, one, one of the other reasons why uh, relationships don't work is because we're too easy to take offense. Oh, man. <laughs> that's true. That's so You're true. You're too, too sensitive. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. they can't say anything to you mm -hmm. if they wanted to, if they needed to. Yeah. They're going to let you crash and burn because right. you, you are um, yeah. uh, unmanageable. Unmanageable. You're going to flip out. You're going to turn tables over. Yeah. Who do you think you are? You ain't better than... It takes you further, really, than... <laughs> you. So you be like, I don't know if I should, you know, we should say anything to them because, you know, they'll go off in a minute now. Right, you know, exactly. So, yeah. so if you're one of those people who are, like, really sensitive... Um, and take offense easily, you need to do some introspection to see where that comes from. A lot mm -hmm. of times it can be learned behavior. You yeah. know, maybe you've seen your parents yeah. uh, be critical and mm -hmm. argumentative, and that's part of your nature for now. Right. Or you just have a short fuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a short fuse. Yeah. You know, yeah. And that's with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, so, man, it's, it's amazing that you made it thus far. Right, you know. exactly. But we can we can adopt whatever characteristic we want for mm -hmm. ourselves. So we need That's to do true. introspection and, and see what's going on with us. Yeah. Why are we so emotional? Why are we mm -hmm. so sensitive? Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, if you if you're lacking that characteristic, adopt it. A adopt patience. Yeah. Adopt long suffering. But it's yeah. gonna take you to first of all acknowledge it. And then embrace it and work on it. Yeah. You yeah. you can change. Yeah. You you yeah. are empowered to become whatever you want to become mm -hmm. in this world. Well, that's what it is. In any relationship, it is like okay, we're gonna change during this, the course of our relationship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we both changed since uh, 1993. Mm -hmm. You know, some of our minds on certain things have changed as well. You know, so you yes. have to give room, um, you know, to grow and expand and for ideas and thoughts to to change. That's right. Within reason. Yes. You know, yes. so, yeah, it happens. Yes. And as we grow, change, and evolve, it always goes back to effective communication. Like, yeah. babe, I'm, yeah. I'm not that same girl I used to yeah. be in 1993. Yeah, yeah. I, I've traveled the world. Mm -hmm. I, I have an open 
a world view, a yeah. different perspective on yeah. some things. And yeah. this is, you know, I because because you know we can have conversations, and mm -hmm. then I'm one to always interject yeah. my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you you have to feel that what you have to say is a value, yeah. and and you have a right to speak up for yourself. Most definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see, another reason? Some relationships do not work because, uh, let's say, there is no respect. Yeah, yes. Because of no respect. Yeah. Oh, so true. That's strong. That's so, true right there. Yeah, B-I-N-G-O, mm -hmm. bingo, mm -hmm. right there. All right. Yeah, right. Be, because disrespect um, is... Um, you, you tell me, it, it has nothing to do with being sensitive. Yeah. I don't know anyone who doesn't want a sense of respect. Yeah. You know, because it's yeah. so demeaning mm -hmm. and it's so degrading. Right. You know, it makes you feel uh, worthless. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel uh, un unimportant. Un unimportant, all of that. So the respect and relationship has to be, I have to respect you, mm -hmm. you know, period, and you respect me. But I would never allow for anyone to disrespect you and let it go by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know vice, what I mean? Vice versa. Straight up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even down to children that may talk disrespectful uh, to either of the parents, that has to be checked immediately. That's right. So your child can be an adult child, but they all, always must come to either parent with respect. Absolutely. So if we out on the street and somebody disrespect you, that means it's on for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't allow that. So I'm not going to allow my child or children right. to disrespect the one that I love. That ain't gonna, I, I, it ain't going to work. I wouldn't let it slip by on the street. Right. So you I can't just let it slip by I'm the home. wondering if the child, and we're talking about young children yeah, now, yeah, disrespect, adult children. Re, disrespect yeah. either parent because of learned behavior. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If a child sees mom it could be. disrespecting dad, it could be. then the child is like, okay, I get to talk to dad like that too. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So we have to be careful how we treat each other. Exactly. We, we are yeah. always role modeling behavior. Yeah, sometimes people just get brand new. <laughs> Man, where'd you pull that rabbit out of your head at? Because right. you know that ain't never worked. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it yeah. has to be checked. You know, because you'll carry that into your relationship. If you've seen it done, you'll most likely do it yourself. And you know one thing I cannot stand, like forever and ever. If you ever did did this, it would take a long time. I know we're supposed mm. to forgive seven times, but it would take me a little while to get over it. Yeah. I cannot stand public disrespect. Mm. Do, do not disrespect one yeah. another in public or in front of other people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. I, you need some emotional regulation. Yeah. If All you're right. doing emotional. that. <laughs> Let's say that again. You, you, you need emotional regulation. Okay. Okay. You have to learn how to control yourself, how to yeah. handle yourself, how yeah. to manage yourself. Yeah. When you're offended out in public, yeah. you're out to eat or whatever, mm -hmm. you don't like something, you just go off and people looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't. It's not everyone's business. It right. is not everyone's business. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, 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 but you no, no, still have saying. to learn how to handle yourself and be careful not to do that in front of your children. I believe I that... I can't really see that too Okay. <laughs> Can I pull it down or am you I going to mess should. it up? Uh -oh. Lord, Lord bless us here in Jesus' uh -huh. name. Something about uh, the key to make you something relationship work. Uh, you're such a powerful couple. I don't know if that's a compliment to us. I really can't see it all. If it is a compliment to us, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. <laughs> Doing our best to make it in. Okay. Yes. To make yes. it happen, that's for sure. Yes. Listen, again, if, if you don't take any other nugget away from yeah. today, effective yeah. communication. If yeah. it's important enough to bother you, it's certainly important enough to discuss, but timing mm -hmm. is of essence. Yeah. Timing yeah. is very yeah. important. It ain't to do it in front of people. Yeah, yeah you get triggered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hurt. That, mm -hmm. that, that hit me like a fiery dart. Yeah. And, and we're just, out. Just don't say anything in the moment. In the moment. Master and watch, the moment of watch decision. Watch your smile through it. What Kirk Franklin said. Breathe. Smile. Sometimes you got to smile until we get in the car <laughs> or we get to the house. 
But sometimes, sometimes it's you, yeah, I, I feel it. But sometimes it's hard to smile. Yeah. Because you like, in yeah. your mind, like, oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, but put oh, your no, mask he... on because we're wearing them now. Right. Either way it goes. But no one needs to know your at-home business in public. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe. You don't need to know it. L listen, when you, when you breathe, you get at least 30% 30, 30 more oxygen to your brain. Mm. Now mm. I can think a little more clearly. Yeah. I can say yeah. what I want to say and respond the way that I want. But you got to breathe. Yeah. yeah. You don't want that that intense emotion yeah. building up inside of you. You got to breathe to let that stuff out. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you got to manage manage mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. Teach your children respect. Mm -hmm. You role model that. You, have you to. show your children how how to um, solve problems. Yeah. At yeah. home, you you are your your children's first teachers mm -hmm. of life. Of life, love, and pursuit of happiness. Yes. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously. But it, it's really like this. As the scriptures say, you know that we, uh, you know, must glorify God. You know, in in our good in our good works, we have to set a pattern of good works. Uh, and role model in front of our children so mm -hmm. that they can do the same That's thing. That's right, yes. You know, so they can have a successful relationship. It may not be an exact relationship of yours. We don't want that. We want them to have the foundation that we have, and they can grow what they want after uh, that. Because an adult, yeah. uh, an adult, an, an adult's personality and character is because of, of the home that shaped them. Yes. That's true. So you have to think about the atmosphere of your home. Is mm -hmm. it toxic? Yeah. If, if it is worth going, it don't. Right. It don't. You don't have to continue right. to be like that because that's what it is now. Put the work mm -hmm. in. So how, let me ask this question: If 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 you feel a certain way, um, should you immediately respond, or should you wait? Because I know people are different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yes. Some people will just kind of wait until they've given thought to it. Uh, that's more like myself. Mm -hmm. I might wait for a while and give thought to it and then so I can verbalize it in the way that I really want to. I well, want to make sure, number one, that I ain't hallucinating. Right. <laughs> you don't understand? That get rope -a -dope. Yeah, that I ain't get rope -a dope straight up. <laughs> you know, so do you think it's a quick response is good or should you give yourself time to take in what was said? It depends on the situation. It, okay. it depends on what's going on. It depends on where you're at. It mm -hmm. depends on how you feel because you know you. Yeah. You know you. You you know if you're boiling on the inside, if I respond right now, it's not going to go over well. Yeah. So sometimes you may have to physically remove yourself from the situation, calm yeah. yourself down, and come back to the table. Mm -hmm. You you just don't want to act yeah. cold. Before to you the just fire. blur it out. Yeah. And blur it out. That's in right. Public. Uh, you know, that shame and, and, you know, you can't do that. But that's a, another reason why relationships don't work because you don't have a filter. Don't have a filter. You just yeah. can't say whatever you want to say talking mm -hmm. off the top of your head because yeah. words have power. They have power and you can't take them back. You can't take them back. Once you... they, bam, hit the atmosphere, uh -huh. you cannot take those because words back. Because you feel that negative energy. Yeah, yeah. You've already done something to that other person mm -hmm. with, with your words. And most definitely has been laying in your heart. Yeah. Yeah. So we know yeah. from the heart, the mouth speaks. That's right. The mouth I mean, gives you, evidence to what's down deep. That's right. Amen. You you can apologize later, but that's like putting salve on an <laughs> open wound. I mean, yeah. it's going to help yeah. the situation. It's yeah. going to make it feel better, yeah. but they're still wounded. <laughs> yeah. you, you let that venom out. Yes. You yes. Did. So you have to be careful for the words that you speak. Again, mm -hmm. your effective communication is to relay uh, information. It's not to be condescending yeah. and it's not to tear down. It's not going to be condescending because I'm focusing on the problem mm -hmm. and not the person. Yeah. Exactly. You know, at the end of the day, exactly. you want to, you want to have resolution. Yeah. You have, that has to be the goal. If there's an issue, you want to bring resolution to it, but it has to be done in the right manner. In the right Respectfully. manner. Respectfully. Yes. You got to have respect for the other. I can hear you better if I see that you you know, you definitely respect me, my thoughts, my opinion, um, you know, how I feel about a certain situation. If you don't respect me, then, you know, as they say, if you don't give it, you ain't getting it. But, but a lot of times people don't respect 
the other one mm -hmm. for various reasons. For yeah, instance, yeah, you yeah, know, a, yeah. a female may feel like the, the male is just laying around the house and not yeah. doing anything all day. Right. They're playing the game all day. Right. You know, they're not out there working. Right. You know, and if they're not taking care of their yeah. responsibilities yeah. or they're not a good father. There's just, mm -hmm. you know, there's so a lot different. of reasons yeah. why disrespect can come or the yeah. woman, she don't take care of the house and yeah. she don't cook and she don't take care of herself. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of reasons why disrespect will come, but effective that's communication. Yeah, I need true. to let you know, babe, I feel very frustrated mm -hmm. because you're, you're not, you're not providing. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Right. You know, anything. It could be, you know, in the workforce. You're not providing what we need here at the house. Emotionally, it's just providing, period. Yeah, I feel like I'm out working all day. I come yeah. home and you're playing the yeah. game or whatever. Well, and I you, feel like I'm in love by myself. Yeah. You know. Effective communication. Yeah. You know, I fix myself up and you watching TV and I walk back and forth and you don't even see me. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's I'll put it. something on that's supposed to get your attention. <laughs> and you just watching TV, you sit back in your hey. lazy boy recline, right. and you don't even recognize this. That's right. Walking yes. in front of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, you may need to go to the doctor, get your hormones checked oh, or something. Hey, you need a doctor. You're denying for sure. all this. <laughs> yeah. Some, some, some. I've learned. Uh, what did this say? Uh, something emo. I want to touch the camera because there's so much more. Don't touch it over there. Come over this way. Come so. over here. Okay, yeah. maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I, I, okay. I think I'm going. I think I'm going to. Uh, Sorry, we'll try our best to respond to you all later. Yeah, we will uh, definitely respond later. Yeah. But just keep on post because what you post up, other people can see as yeah, well. Yeah. All right. So don't stop because we cannot see from afar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, even so, with my help on, Father God. That's all right. How much time we have, Bishop? All right, let me put this back on, I can tell you. Oh, it's 1142. We got some all time right. to work a little a bit. Another reason why relationships don't work is because wives want to mother I know he's their spouses. Right. That's good. That's good. Wives want to mother their spouses. And mm. then husbands want, wants to father their mm. wives. Mm. L listen, we, we done left all, we've got parents. Yeah. We got parents. But yeah. you know, know what is grieving to me mm. just because I've Tell seen me. it. I've seen it Tell so me. so many times. <laughs> What's grieving it, to it, you? It is for a wife to mm. treat her husband like he's a little boy, like he can't think for himself. Yeah, that's he has not to be, good. And, and she's thinking for him. That's not she's good. telling him what's on his mind or how hey, he should speak and how good. he, you know what I mean? But it kind yeah. of knocks the um, the yeah. maleness or or the I don't want to say the ego, mm. you know. But but it's demeaning. Very demeaning. It's very demeaning. And it drives the separation. I don't want to be but, around you. Right. You know, so I'll start putting applications in someplace else, <laughs> looking for a job transfer, if you know what I mean. That's true. Yeah. See, we have to stop. Mm -hmm. I, I know women, we feel like, you know, we we know more, mm -hmm. you know, and we're quicker. You definitely we're, know more words. We're, 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 and we're, <laughs> we're quicker to the draw. We think our brains don't turn off. You know, just because we're, we're like helicopters and men are like 747s, yeah. just because yeah. we're thinking a little faster and we're here, there, and everywhere, and they're that 747s yeah. on yeah. the yeah. runway, yeah. doesn't mean that they hey, don't hey. know that they don't know yeah. what what they're talking about. Yeah. We have to again respect. Yeah. But, yeah. but we have to be the one to build our men up <laughs> and stop treating them like they're little boys. Mm, like I say, y'all know more words, that's for sure. Right. But, it, but I mean, don't you feel like <laughs> know that, 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 That's the rope a dope. Yes, the rope a dope. I'm stunned. I don't know what's going on. She done hit me so fast with right. all the words. Lord have mercy. Right. That's the rope a dope. <laughs> you guys, he just on, on the rope. So uh, like, you know, and we just going off yeah. and, and he can't get a word can't in. Can't get a word in. Why? My Lord. But we really, we, we really want to help meet the need. How yeah. can I help um, 
make my man feel yeah. like he is the, the priest of the house? How yeah. can I help yeah. make him feel like he is of worth and value and, mm -hmm. and important to me and important yeah. to the family yeah. without telling him yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like he don't have a mind of, yeah. of his own. Yeah. So it's about reaffirming the roles that um, spiritually, because now it seems that we're kind of speaking in a spiritual, biblical sense. Um, it's like wives, you know, you don't, you're not allowing your husband to be the priest of your home, not the king of, uh, of the castle. It's, it's his position to be. You know what I'm saying? So men need to know your position in the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you have to know, and I'm speaking more from a biblical standpoint, but you have to know that you're the head of your family. Mm -hmm. You know. But if the wives don't let them be, then they're like, forget it. She yeah. got it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? That's because you get frustrated after a while. You and get you, tired. Do, you know everything, so you know you go ahead. But right. I mean, that defeats the purpose of the relationship working effectively. But you have to give them time yeah. to adjust. Mm -hmm. You have to give them time to do, you know, well, you know, I asked them a week ago to do A, B, C, D. Yeah. You have to have in your mind that it's not the end of the world if it's yeah. not done right now. Yeah, and you pretty much know who you're working with. Yeah, you, you know, do. You might tell me something on Saturday that need, need to be done Sunday. It may not be gotten to until Wednesday. Yes. So you yes. kind of know the timeline in which they're going to be working at. But like you said, you, you know, you already know who you have. Yeah. But you don't want to disrespect them yeah. and cause them to feel like they're your little boy and, yeah. and not your spouse. Yeah. Because yeah. how can you be, how can you really be intimate like that? If you, you can. Know in your mind, Hello. I'm being intimate with a little boy. My Lord. <laughs> My Lord. And there's a vast difference yeah. psychologically. Yeah. You know, if I feel like yeah. I'm I'm being intimate with yeah. a little boy because, versus because that I'm ain't being be intimate right. with my man. That's not gonna be right. You know what I mean? It's the not the, the hormones work right. released yeah. are gonna be very different. Yeah, very different. You may have trouble yeah. in the bedroom yeah. psychologically yeah. if you feel like I my got Lord. this little boy my Lord. versus this is my man. Yeah, he might have an <laughs> uh, issue psychologically. <laughs> you know, you might be all right, but he might be like, no, you know, I don't really want to like, do like this I'm, right now. Like I'm being intimate to my mother. You understand? I don't want to really do this, but you're making me, you know, so. Right, right. Because exactly. I know when we get there, you're going to be telling me A, B, C, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, you might want to be called mama or daddy then. I mean, you depending on what y'all, you know, whatever oh, case may be. Lord. Let me stay on the tab because this is a fact. Family program. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, uh, give them time, give yeah. them space. Again, mm -hmm. effective communication. If they're moving too slow, gentle reminders. Babe, right. you know, I asked you, yeah. you know, last week if yeah. you could do A, B, C, D, could you like do that today? Because mm -hmm. if, if you don't do it, maybe I can call someone and, yeah. and, and have them do that. Oh, that'll make a man get up in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to hey. call someone's like, oh, I got that. You're going to do what? Right, right. But yeah. the general reminder is like a commercial that used to say um, something like say it with. I, I don't know if it was gift cards or what it was, uh, but say it with flowers or something. There's a way to get your point across mm -hmm. gen, gen, in a gentle way. Yes. So it may be with flowers or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and, you know, that kind of opens up the door to a sweeter tone and a sweeter response. Mm -hmm. You know, or maybe with a card or maybe with a gift or whatever the case may just, be. Just let your words be seasoned yeah. with salt. Yeah. Just, just season them with salt. Again, mm -hmm. it goes back to not blurting things out because yeah. what you do is you build up, you build up, you build up, and then by the time you say something, it's in a, you're in an attack mode now. Exactly, yeah. You know, but you yeah. have to breathe. You mm -hmm. have to breathe. Hey, babe, I asked you yeah. last week or whatever. Don't say told. I told you. I asked. I asked you. I asked you. <laughs> because the truth is people don't have to do anything yeah, at yeah. all but i would appreciate it if you would yeah. because you know ladies you know we can get it done we we know yeah. that but we want to um have if we're in a relationship we want to be able to respect them yeah but you've got to give them space and, yeah. and time yeah. and communicate effectively remember mm -hmm. you don't want to be condescending right most men are huge mm -hmm. on respect most definitely huge on respect yeah yeah. You know, and reinforce your needs. Mm -hmm. Let them know what your needs are. That's true. 
One other reason, here's another nugget for Come you. On with it. Relationships do not work is first of all, you are unequally yoked because You say it again? Back you it up. are unequally, unequally yoked. yoked. Be because we didn't do our work up front. Mm -hmm. We didn't do our work up front. We yeah. wanted a pair of thighs. Yeah. All right. Now, I like that. Family programming. <laughs> With the chicken thighs. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do our homework. Yeah. Yes. You wanted that warm body. Yes. You wanted that figure eight. Man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You did not do your homework. Somebody said control and respect. But yeah. Didn't do your homework. Yeah. Yeah. So so now you've hooked up with someone yeah. that you don't even like. Mm -hmm. You don't even because after a while you don't even see the physical part because yeah. they're so ugly on the inside. Man, say that again. <laughs> I mean that is so true. You can be yeah. the bomb on the outside, but man, you messed up on the inside. To me, that's an ugly person. It's period. an ugly person. I don't care what you look like. Yeah, the curves disappear. Listen. You know, the six yeah. pack disappear. Yeah. Because they're ugly, they're critical, yeah. they're blaming, they're yeah. condescending, all that. But you ain't checked mm -hmm. that out up front. Like the Tasmanian devil. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. You. <laughs> But that's, that's who you chose. That's who you chose. That's who you chose. You chose the exterior. Yeah, come on. That's what you did. You chose the exterior. Who buys a car with just looking at the mm, exterior? My Lord. Come you know, on. you want to get in the thing and you want to look at the interior. See what all of the uh, accoutrements that are in the car, <laughs> you know. But you just don't base it off of what it looks like on the outside. You don't do it. Those, those are lessons learned. Now you feel stuck. Mm -hmm. Now you go, no, no, you, you got me now. Yeah. yeah. You got me now. We're going to deal with this. Yes. You know, so, yeah, you know, you can be, I don't care if you are of the same religion. Yeah. That's not necessarily mm -hmm. what unequally yoked is. Because, you know, mm -hmm. you can be with someone of the same religion and be so unequally yoked. Yes. You don't have the same interests. Yes. You don't have the same values. Mm -hmm. You don't have the same belief system. Right. You don't agree on how to raise the children. Right. It, you. <laughs> it, there's no agreement anywhere. Uh, yeah. Other than when it comes time to do the do. Right. Then we we don't want to court them. Then yeah, for those you know couple <laughs> yeah. minutes whatever. You gotta stand. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. You know, so you can be unequally with someone who is of the same faith. You have to take your time. Yes. We research everything else. Do your if you're dating, That's do true. the research. And when I say do That's the true. research, check them yeah. out. Check out their personality. Watch them. Yes. See yeah. how they um relate. Facts. I see you. That's true. <laughs> yeah, see how they mm -hmm. relate to their mom. Yeah. Or see how they relate to their siblings. Yeah. See where they come from. Mm -hmm. See how they act. When they're upset, see how they handle their bills. Yeah. See how they handle themselves when they're upset. So we're just not talking about being on one accord in one thing, which is worshiping God together. Mm -hmm. But then there's life. Life, yes. So as you stated, we have to be on one accord. How are we going to raise these children? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, be on one accord. Or who's going to control the finances to make sure everything is taken care of? All of that, because if you're unequally yoked over here, it will be over here. Yeah, yes. So you have to try to, you know, make sure we're on the same page. Who's going to handle the bills, you know? Mm -hmm. Who's better at it? Right, You exactly. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You have to be on one accord. The, the Bible says, how can two walk together yeah. except they agree? Yes, yes. Now, you got, you got to agree on some things. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. don't agree on anything, yeah. then you at least got to compromise. Well, you cannot say, I don't care. I mean, I don't care. That's what she want to do. I don't care. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of saying. I don't care. Right, but because no, it's not you're, gonna you're, work. you're you're evading the situation. You're yeah. kind of bowing out. Yeah. I, I, I and so that. that's going to continue with everything. Yeah. Men have to learn. Let me tell you this. Men have to go back to finding their masculinity as men. Be men mm -hmm. in your relationship. Be the man. You want to be the man? <laughs> Be the man in your relationship. And that will cause the, the woman to respect you more. Hello. Yeah. Yes. 
I, I mean, because the truth of the matter is most females, and you all correct me if yeah. I'm wrong, most females cannot really respect a man that they can control. Yeah. Y'all help, help me. Say it again. Somebody, somebody says this real quick. Says, uh, or somebody says, help me, Lord, uh, life of a single woman. <laughs> okay. But say yeah. it again. Yeah, but most women cannot respect a man that they can control. And they won't listen. <laughs> when it comes time to listening, it's about control, telling him what to do and all that. I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah, but then we can't That's respect you. As a man, if I yeah. if I control you, yeah. most Ooh, women want a, a strong a strong man that's good. that they can lead. A yeah. strong man who is able to figure things out yeah. for you. A that's strong lead. man that's able to, to lead and take the yes. load off and baby, yes. don't worry about it. I've yeah. got this figured out. We've know? been down this way before. We're gonna yes. make it out again. That's right. You know. That's right. And, but and, and, and tell me no. Tell me no sometimes. Yeah. Yes, you know? exactly. Right. Exactly. It, it's about being firm and, and, right. and taking your position right. in, in the relationship. Right. Roles do do matter. Yeah. You know, and you said earlier That's setting true. your expectations That's out true. front. Yeah. Because yeah. then, you know, we talked earlier about the several reasons disrespect will come in. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that we feel like, you know, you're underneath us. I'm yeah. telling you what to do. Yeah. I'm not going to respect that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not oh, it's, not, respect it's it. not going to happen. And that woman will not have respect for that man who she's trying to control. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it, it it won't happen like that. It, it won't happen. Yeah. It yeah. will not so happen. So she'll start. That goes back to treating him like a child. Mm hmm Because yes. you don't respect the man that but, he but, is. But you can treat him like a child, but then yeah. when he walks out into society, yeah. and other women are interested, and they yeah. see the, the They the see the man. man. Yeah. yeah. They, they see the man. Yeah. He can't yeah. help but to be intrigued by it. That's the truth. You know, so you don't want to yeah. open the door to the enemy yeah. at, at all. Listen, he'll send his resume in. <laughs> Pop, send the resume on. Let's see what they like about the resume. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've had fun we, today. Yes, I've had yes. fun today. So we hope that we have helped some of you out there with these nuggets. Yes. You know, or, and, and create the yeah. relationship that you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah. And men be men. Just be a man. Be a man about the whole thing. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. And and just keep the respect there. Yes. Just keep the respect. Value, BVR, value, validation, and respect. That's if, it. If you have those three components, then you're doing all right, whether if it's an intimate partner relationship, mm -hmm. sibling relationship, mm -hmm. business relationship, it doesn't matter. Bring the value. Validate one another's yes. emotions and respect each other. My, mind. All right. Well, I am Kimberly B. I'm Healthy Bishop, y'all. Counseling Services. Bishop Bozeman, the Great Assembly of Faith Church, 1571 South Parsons Avenue. Listen, if you're looking to have a high time in the Lord, come visit us on Sunday. Yes. We're going to have a good time in Jesus' name. All right. Until next time. It's in your hands. You do it, baby. Yes. Create a wonderful day. God bless y'all. See you next time.